Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Sweet No Debt. Now, this is one of those games that look all cute and innocent on the surface, but underneath that cute fuzzy layer is something evil, nasty, stinky. Well, maybe not stinky, but there's a 99% chance that this game is going to get freaky zeeky. We are going to figure out why that is right now, because cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! Once upon a time, there was a small woodland town. Okay. In a land where the grasses grow pink, and the trees hold yellow leaves up to the sun as if to mirror her. In this town lived many animals, who would spend their days frolicking along the grass and their evenings gazing up at the stars. And one very fateful night, a star fell. A shooting star that had blazed its way across the galaxy. It shone brighter than anything they had seen. It landed right beside their quaint forest town. And then, something quite curious happened. From the remains of the comet emerged a magical star witch. The animals were curious, asking her all sorts of questions. Who are you? Where did you come from? She answered that she was a blessing from the stars, gifted with all kinds of magical power. She promised to use this power to make their lives as happy as can be. Using her magic, she turned a once pleasant community into an even more delightful one, creating many friends in the process. And so, they all lived in magical harmony, until they didn't. Oh, until! Dun, dun, dun! Ah, good morning, world. Always a pleasure to wake up to you. Here's to a good day today. Now, what was I doing today? Oh, wait. Right, right, right. Raj wanted me to meet down by the river for a picnic this morning. I should start heading over there after I do my garden work for today. Move using arrow keys, press space to enter, to interact with objects, press X to open the menu, and to cancel. Okay, let me see that menu. Okay, 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 all right, all right, all right. And space is to do certain things. So, this is where I live, everybody. If I lived here for more than five minutes, I think I would throw up until I died. Because I don't like it when everything is all cute and warm and fuzzy. I love it when everything's evil! Oh, my moon daisies aren't supposed to be this color. You aren't sick, are you? Here, I've got you. Yeah, I got your back like chiroprac. There you go. Feel better? I'll leave a little extra magic for you. Haha. <laughs> yeah, let me sprinkle some nut dust on that and it'll be good as new. So opalescent. You're gorgeous. I don't even know that word, everybody. I'm not a college graduate. A bit of magic for you. And that's all you need. Yeah, let me sprinkle that nut dust one time. There you go. All right, who else needs a little sprinkle, sprinkle, tinkle, tinkle? Goodness, how pretty you are. I could stare at you all day. But I'm a bit busy for that. A little magic for you. Here you go. There you go. Let me sprinkle that as well. And last but not least. Oh, you grew in beautifully. Take a little water. A generous magic sprinkle. There you go. You should be good for the next few days. Let me sprinkle that one too. Oh gosh. I haven't been spending too long on my flowers, have I? Let me get going. You spent like two minutes on them tops. Like two minutes tops. Calm down. It wasn't even that much gardening. But let's see what's in here. Good morning, Lamb Chop. Hi, Stella. Can I help you with anything? Didn't feel right not to check on you. You are my friend after all. Is that so? Oh, aren't you the sweetest? Do you have any plans for today, Stella? You're always quite busy. I do. I'm actually on my way to meet Raj by the river right now. He invited me to a picnic. I think he wanted my approval for some of his cooking. Haha. <laughs> all right. I remember Raj telling me about this. I even gave him some candy earlier for you guys to share. You did? That was so nice of you. Are you doing anything other than running the candy shop all day? Oh, indeed I am. After the store closes for the night, I'll be heading over to Ruby's Bakery. We're going to try workshopping a new pie recipe for the next group picnic. <laughs> I'd like to see Raj try besting us when it comes to the culinary arts. Oh, really? Gosh, that sounds like it'll be lovely and delicious. Would um I be able to help you guys, maybe? Oh, it's really not necessary. We'll be fine on our own promise. Oh, well, if you say so. I ought to get going. I don't want to keep Raj waiting too long. Right, see you later, Stella. Have a great morning. Yes, you too. This game needs to get nasty real quick because all this goody two-shoe talk is not leaving a good taste in my mouth. It tastes weird. It tastes like I'm eating ass. And look, honestly, there's nothing wrong with eating ass, but you don't need to see Ruby in her bakery just yet. Were her parents drunk when they named her? Gave her way too many U's. They were just like... But let me go get that picnic. And speaking of eating ass, I wonder what we're eating at this picnic. Because I love those little sandwiches that are cut into triangles. The one with like the crust chopped off on the ends. What? 
Um, <laughs> I said I need this game to get evil real quick. My boy is out here with no head. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't see this heading in that direction that quick, really. We aren't doing this. Oh, we're doing this. We're doing this right now. This isn't that kind of story, but it is though. I see it. That ain't ketchup. This ain't your granddaughter's bedtime story. That's a dead body. Oh, Raj, where's your head at? Are you freaking joking me? Oh, I forgot that she's a witch. Ah, oh, there you are. Collected Raj's head. Are you kidding me? Like, we could just get beheaded and just be fine with it? There, that's all the blood done away with a quick spell. Now, to put your head back on your neck. Wow. All right, now we just... I was expecting a cracking sound, like a... Oh, hello, Stella. What in the actual fook, everybody? You made it, just in time. Raj, are you okay? Yes. Why? Like, you feel fine? Nothing hurts you or anything? Um, I suppose I do have a bit of a headache. But boom but that might just be from me tripping on the ground earlier. This dude tripped and lost his whole head. Like, how fragile are you, my boy? You tripped? That's how that happened. Maybe he tripped on a buzzsaw or something, or he tripped on a Japanese sword. I know, I know. I'm not usually so clumsy. Which, uh, also brings us to the bad news. Bad news? What kind of bad news? See, when I tripped, it was, a uh, kind of a nasty fall. How nasty? Like, like, X-rated nasty triple X? Daddy, chill. And because I was so close to the river when it happened, well... I kind of spilled all our food into the river. <laughs> oh, Raj, that isn't bad news at all. The important thing is that you're safe. I'm really sorry to ruin our morning plans like this. Goodness, if only I looked where I was going. Raj, really, it isn't a problem. But what about you? What are you going to do for breakfast now? I have plenty of food at home. And speaking of home, why don't you head home too? You said you had a headache, right? You ought to lay down and rest. Maybe use some of that medicine I gave you to store at home. If you need more, just tell me and I'll make another batch. Haha, <laughs> no worries, Stella. I think I've still got enough. You know best. And a nap does sound nice right now. But promise me we can do this again soon. I definitely won't drop anything next time. Probably. Wow. So, we're just gonna skip over the fact that this dude just got his head cut off? I should... Look around a bit. Is there anyone else outside right now? Yo, what just happened? Bro got his shit blown clean off. All right. Can I talk to this butterfly? I can't talk to the butterfly. Wow. What a stuck up butterfly. They think they're better than everybody else because they can fly and they look all beautiful and everybody's like, oh, wow, look, it's a beautiful butterfly. Like, fuck butterflies. I hope somebody didn't lose anything else. Like, this person looks like they lost all common sense. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Stella. Hi, Acorn. How's your day? Is it going well? Do you need help with anything? Actually, my day could... probably a bit better. <laughs> oh, why do you say that? Is it anything I can help with? Uh, maybe. I don't know. See, I needed some help watering some star flowers in my yard. Do your chores, your damn self. None of my magic is going to be sprinkled on your star flowers, alright? Oh, star flowers are my favorite. Don't I know it? And I borrowed this watering can from Buck the other day, right? Fuck Buck! So, of course, I wanted to give it back to him now that I'm done using it. But, uh, he hasn't been answering his door all day. I, uh, actually haven't seen him anywhere all day, even though I went looking for him. He wasn't in any of his usual places, and no one I ask has seen him. Really? Nobody at all? Nope. Well, maybe Lamb Chop has, but he didn't give me a straight answer. How do you mean? I mean, he kind of seems to be in a grumpy mood today. I stopped by earlier and asked him about Buck, but he was halfway into the back of his store. Lamb Chop, he just has a little attitude, right? He said he didn't have time to help me look for him or whatever, and that he was busy. I asked if I could at least see what he was so busy with back there, but he said it was super secret. No boys or girls allowed. I reminded him that I'm not either of those. Okay, okay, okay. And he slammed the door in my face. How dare he? Well, that's not very nice at all. Oh, uh, it's not too bad. I think he's just antsy, that's all. I'm sure he didn't even mean it. I'm probably just taking it the wrong way. I don't know what he'd be getting so stressed over, though. Life here is a dream, especially with you around. Well, if you think it's just stress, then... 
You know, speaking of lamb chop, I feel completely silly. Silly? Yes, I stopped by a store this morning, and I completely forgot while I was in there that I wanted to pick up some candy myself. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, I think you should go see him again. If he is in a grumpy mood, I think seeing you will cheer him up. You think so? What makes you say that? Because seeing you always cheers me up. Aww, how sweet. But also, I think you're his favorite out of everyone. I mean, I think we all kind of think you're the best, but I think he's always liked you best best ever since that first day you got here. That's sweet. I won't waste any time then. I'll go see him. I hope you can find Buck in the meantime. You and me both. I think that he likes you the best best because you can do some magic and you can pretty much like help him out anytime he needs. You knock on the door, but it appears they aren't home right now. Ha, huh, Stella, you know I'm right here if you wanted to say hi, right? I'd let you come over for a visit. But wouldn't you rather enjoy the beautiful day outside? I was actually trying to rob the place. Buck's house. You knock on the door, but it appears he isn't home right now. Maybe he lost his arms and he can't open the door. The neighborhood stretches outwards, but you don't need to go much further than here. Raj lost his head. Maybe this dude lost his arms and legs and he's inside and he's like, oh, help me, please. I did not know I can run. That makes life so much easier. Let me talk to Lamb Chop again. Hi again, Stella. Hi again, Lamb Chop. Did you just have lunch? It looks like you have some jam left on your face. It's blood! Uh, excuse me? It's blood. Well, do you need help cleaning it off? No, I'm fine with it there. Are you sure? Well, if you're gonna make such a fuss about it, what do you want me to do? So, what is it you came back in here for? I just wanted to check on you, that's all. That is actually a first. Somebody who had blood on their face was actually very blunt about it, and I can't do anything but respect that. Like, I respect it. If he's a serial killer, I respect it. Like, he wasn't even like, oh no, that's just blood-flavored ketchup. No, let me wipe that off real quick. He's like, it's blood. What are you gonna do about it? I just wanted to check on you, that's all. Oh, you really care about me, don't you? Well, Stella, as much as I love to see you, I ought to start preparing to close up shop. I have to make sure I've got everything I need for when I meet up with Ruby in a bit. But I'll see you tomorrow, won't I? Certainly. Okay, we already know something's off about Lamb Chop. Oh, wait. Okay, I forgot to say the dot dot dot. I better go check on her before he gets there. She must be in the bakery if she's waiting for him, right? Maybe Lamb Chop already got to her. So I think we're all in agreement that Lamb Chop is giving us serial killer vibes, right? I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. Ruby! Stella! You never say my name right. It's Ruby. You gotta say it with a ru, like a ru, a ru, a ru. Okay, okay, okay. We get it. <laughs> so, Ruby, there was actually something I wanted to ask you about. Lamb Chop is coming over tonight, right? To try out new recipes and stuff. Would you want me to stay and help? I know my way or two around the kitchen, you know. Oh, um, no, that's okay. I'd, um, rather it be a surprise, yeah. Uh, that's right. I forgot, you like like lamb chop. <laughs> Ooh, hey, that's not true. It's not? So you don't care about having alone time with him after all? Well, maybe, just a little, okay. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I see, I see. I get it. Well, I don't want to intrude on you if you don't want me to be here for it. Just please stay safe, won't you? Of course, Stella. I always keep things safe in the kitchen, and I never forget my oven mitts. Right. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Stella. I'll make sure to save extra for you. It'll mean the world to me if you like what we come up with. <laughs> I don't think that I'm going to see her tomorrow. I think those were the very last words that we spoke to with Stella. I mean, Ruby. I mean, fuck. Sunset! It's getting late already. I suppose I better get home then. Yes, because I need to sprinkle more nut dust on my flowers. Why is this girl tripping about her friends potentially getting killed by this lamb chop guy? She could do some magic spells. I mean, she just put her friend's head back together. It's bedtime, isn't it? Yes, I think it is. 8 p.m. sharp. Get to bed. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, Stella out here in her nightgown and shit. Gosh. What is he doing right now? I should... Oh, Lamb Chop. 
I hope you're not being too rough on her. Yo, chill! This is not that kind of game, is it? She's softer than the others. Wait, wait, what are we talking about here? Hold on. Who's rough on what now? Good morning. No, we are not going to brush over that. Hold on. Who's being too rough on who? I should bring Ruby breakfast today. I'm sure she's hungry after working with Lamb Chop all night. Ha <laughs> ha. Yo, come on now. I have to get my ingredients before I can go see Ruby. Oh, true, true, true. This basket was a gift from Ruby. These candles were a gift from Raj. This star plush was a gift from Lamb Chop. Lamb Chop was the first person to give you a present after you arrived here. You remember him being a bit sheepish, presenting it to you. He said that he hoped you would think of him when you hold it. You do. Okay, and your point is? Your kitchen. You don't need anything from the cabinets right now. Now, let's see here. A little of this, definitely this, um, okay. This should be more than enough. Don't worry, Ruby. If anything went wrong, I can fix it. Are you sure about that? What if her head's gone? Well, we just can't find it. Then what? Ah, I think I found a little plot hole. Let's see if Lamb Chop's in here. You have to make sure Ruby is okay before anything else. So yeah, I think in order for her spells to work, like, let's just say Ruby lost her head as well, she would have to find it. Ruby! I was wondering if we could have breakfast? Oh no, Ruby. Sorry, Stella. Oh no, she's been eating ass. Come on now, not you too, Stelly. I'm... Not really hungry right now. Oh, Ruby. Can you bring me a pot, Ruby? Okay. So did she eat somebody? Who did she eat? Now, Ruby, while I'm preparing this, do you mind telling me what happened? I didn't mean to do it. I, I didn't want to do it. I'm sorry. I didn't. I shouldn't have. But, but. Hey, hey, calm down. It's okay, Ruby. You're safe. And I'm here to help you. Just tell me what happened if you can. Last night. Now this. And this. Perfect! Now it'll be ready for when... Lamb Chop, you're here! <laughs> I've been so excited. What do you want to try making first? Oh, wait. You've got a basket. What did you bring? We can use that for the first pie before it goes bad. Oh, Jesus. Um, who's that? Whose intestines are those? What? What? You don't mind that I brought a friend for dinner, do you? Eat it. Huh? Did I stutter? Eat it. What are you talking about? You're a wolf, aren't you? Wolves eat meat. Eat it. You're... You can't be Lamb Chop. I don't know who you are, but I'd never eat one of my friends. I'd never eat anyone! Come now. That's not true. Don't think I didn't notice the way you look at me, Ruby. Everyone thinks you have a crush on me. That's not quite true, is it? I think you want to eat me. Though I suppose that might as well be the same as a crush in the end. How are you meant to love something you don't want to destroy? Well, eat it already. Something's wrong with you. You're crazy! Ruby, shut it! Eat it before I make you eat it! Damn, this dude's so aggressive. It's kind of hot. I'm just kidding. Oh, look! You made me get my hands dirty! Tastes good, though, doesn't it? I should hope so. It took a lot to get to this point. <laughs> oh, Ruby. You've got such a beautiful smile. So, is he just forcing people to eat? I think he's forcing people to go with their natural instincts as animals. Because she is a wolf, wolves do eat other animals, so bada bing bada boom. I didn't want to do it. I promise. But he dug his hands into the basket and... And... Ruby! It's okay! It's okay! Thank you for telling me as much as you did. He was right too, Stella. It... Did taste good. I wouldn't worry about that, Ruby. Alright, Ruby. I'm all done. Now let's wipe your face and drink this for me, okay? I promise you'll feel a lot better. Oh, Stella, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel so good. I feel like, like I gotta take a shit! Excuse me! 
Yup, that's when the Taco Bell hits. Huh? Oh, wowie! I feel so much better and 10 pounds lighter. You were right. Oh, good. I'm so happy to hear that. Now, may I ask you again about last night, just really quickly? Sure. What do you want to know? Well, um, what happened last night? Oh, well, Lamb Chop came over to bake pies with me. And? That's all I can remember, actually. <laughs> I'd tell you what kind of recipes we tried out, but I honestly can't recall. It's kind of blurry, almost. All I can think about is how excited I was when I saw him come through the door. Everything after that just isn't really coming to me. I may have been daydreaming the whole time. <laughs> oh, no worries. No worries at all. I'm just happy to see you smile about it. Though, I do wonder. Hmm. I'll see you later, Ruby. I need to check something. Okie dokie. Feel free to pick up any sweet treats for yourself on the way out. So it doesn't seem like this is Stella's first time making somebody forget. It feels like that thing from Men in Black where you zap it and then their memory just goes away. Buck! Wait, didn't Buck get in? Uh, Stella? Oh, Buck. I'm so happy to see you're all right. Do you, um, this might be strange, but where did you come from? Oh, you noticed, huh? I thought I could sneak out undetected. It's, uh, really weird. I, like, went to go help Lamb Chop with something. And then I just woke up in Ruby's bathroom? Oh, she just shit him out. So she shit out Buck! I don't know how I got there. And I didn't want to spook her. So I thought I could just sneak out the back. But I guess he caught me anyways. Huh, <sighs> right. Well, uh, oh. Acorn's been looking for you. They wanted to return your watering can. Haha, <laughs> got it. I'll go look for them now. Alright. So yeah, that was actually very interesting. So yeah, this definitely wasn't Stella's first time making a potion for somebody that ate one of the other people in this town. Because she whipped that up pretty damn quick. You can't keep doing this. Yeah, definitely not the first time. Probably not going to be the last time. I have a little theory. I think that we are going to kill Lamb Chop. I think we are going to clap some sweet lammy cheeks right now. Let's see. Hi, Stella. Good morning. Is everything okay, Stella? You seem a little grumpy. <laughs> you know, I saw everything you did, right? Oh, did you? Did you like it? No, Lamb Chop. I didn't. And I fixed it. You? Did you think I couldn't? I fixed all of them, Lamb Chop. No one's dead. No one's injured. They don't even remember it. Again! I fixed everything again! Stella, you evil freaking bitch. I hate you! That went 180 really freaking quick. Holy crap, okay, my bad. It's family friendly, Lamb Chop shit. Where are you going? Bro's mad mad. What are you so mad for? I'm coming. <laughs> you don't think I can? If you lock this door, I know magic! What, you think this blood scares me? Who's that? I see you decorated more since the last time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How nice of you to notice. What's the meat from? Lamb Chop. We need to talk about this. I should have eaten that bitch myself. Maybe then we wouldn't be having this problem. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see you try fixing that. Lamb Chop! Why do you keep doing this? Because I want to. Why else? That's not an answer. How isn't it? Because you're not telling me anything when you say that. Fine. I do it because it's fun. There. Are you happy now? Do you think I'm stupid? That I'd accept you just want to do this stuff because it's fun? How could anyone get enjoyment out of this? Oh, fuck off, Stella. You'd never understand it anyways. Get out of my shop. Damn. Should I grab this? Ew. No, I want to grab it. I didn't want to judge it. What are you still doing here? I thought I just told you to go away. Well, I don't want to leave just yet. Heh. <laughs> That's just like you. It's always about what you want. The entire freaking goddamn world is always about what you want. Oh, what I want? It's about what everyone wants. Everyone gets to eat good, feel good, be happy. What more could you be asking for? What more do you want? I want you to drop dead. This isn't the lamb chop I met when I first came here. He would have never said that to me. No, it's not. And he wouldn't have. But I like this one better. I guess you'll just have to deal with it, hero. I want to grab this axe, but I can't. So I guess that I'm just going to leave. 
Do you want to leave now? Let's leave Lamb Chop alone now, not yet. So I can still talk to Lamb Chop? Okay, let's keep having a dialogue. You know what's funny? I never really thought much of Ruby. Or really, I thought of her as such wasted potential. A wolf with pointed claws and sharp teeth, yet indiscernible from any prey animal. You may as well have defanged her in the entire time you've been here. But last night, something happened. I watched her gnash away at what I made out of Buck. And something about it. When I saw her like that, crying, her mouth just dripping with blood. Don't forget the foam around the mouth. She was definitely foaming at the mouth, right? Just her teeth were all red. It felt like the way it was meant to be. And looking at it, it's like I was overcome with this urge suddenly. One I never felt towards her before. Huh? And that is, I wanted to kiss her. Did you kiss her? Wait, this dude's getting some type of pleasure from this? <laughs> like I'm gonna tell you. It's more fun to watch you grapple with the idea. Oh, well, sorry. You made it awkward, not me. What? Are you still wondering if I'll tell you? Ha 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 ha! You know what, Stella? I'll tell you this. I've always wanted to kiss you a lot more. Yo, what's up with this kissing right now? You can kiss my ass. I mean, come on! You looked like an angel when you first got here. The way you spoke to us was nothing but comforting, and you had this unbreakable charm to you. Was I not supposed to be drawn in by something like that? I was enraptured by you, completely swept up in how absolutely above me you were. And now, I think that's just it. You always saw yourself that way too, didn't you? Yo, what's up with this guy right now? When I think about how Ruby looked last night, it reminded me of you. I only wanted to kiss her because in that moment, she looked so beautiful and felt so real. And I realized that when you came here, it was like you were the first real thing to ever happen to me. And after all the time that's passed, I realize that's even more true now, the way I am now. I feel like a person, like more of a person than I've ever been before. I see everyone else the way you always have. How can you expect me to feel bad about what I did to Buck, to Raj, to anyone? You cut the man's head off! And I was supposed to have a picnic with the man! What is wrong with you? Am I supposed to feel guilty about what I did to Ruby last night? She isn't a person. Not yet. Not the way you and I are. But she could be. She could be if you'd let her. But who am I kidding? You won't even let me. So Stella is trying to control the environment when all these people are animals that are just trying to follow their animal instincts, which is to eat and survive the things that they naturally eat and try to survive on. But she's trying to have like this town where everybody's in harmony and she's willing to do her magic to undo the things that she feels are wrong, even though these people are just following their own instincts, right? But Stella doesn't want to surround herself with people. She wants to surround herself with friends. Everyone here is your friend, right? That's what I am to you, right? I'm your friend. That's so funny. I don't even recall you being mine. Excuse me? Hmm? How can you say that I'm not your friend? Everything I do is for you. Ah, did that make you mad? You're really cute when you're mad, Stella. Kind of proves my point though, doesn't it? The second something isn't the way you want it to be, you get mad. Imagine how I feel repeating the daily cycle of living in a sugar-coated hell. If anything, you should be happy it took me so long to get to this point. But no, you wouldn't be happy for me no matter what. Why is this lamb chop chopping up meat anyway? Don't lamb chops eat grass? Like, what are you doing right now? Because the stuff that's fun for me isn't the stuff that Stella likes to see. And anything that doesn't fit into Stella's idea of a comfortable and perfect world has got to go, right? Right. Maybe I'd be happy for you if your idea of fun wasn't killing all your friends and making them eat each other. Did you ever think about that? Of course I have. But then I thought about it some more. And do you really treat them that much better? You really have completely lost it, haven't you? Oh, you're so funny. Who do you think I learned how to love from? If this is your idea of love, then I can't believe you'd even compare me. I don't love like this. Oh my stars, you can't even see it. You're delusional. Explain it to me then. How are our ideas of love possibly the same? All right then, 
let me take a look at the way you love. You arrive here on a falling star, and the second you do, you take this entire town into your hands. Before anyone knows it, you're fixing all their problems. Problems they didn't even know they had. Problems they never even asked for help with. Suddenly, you're the center of their lives. Of everyone's lives. They're planning their days around you, doing things that they'll hope will make you happy in the end. You've consumed their minds just like you did mine. And so, when I think about it like that, it's really clear to me. You have no idea how to love anything without eating it. And now, I'm not sure if I can see love any other way. Wow, that got deep. This man is speaking right now. You know, Stella, I think we should get married. You and me, husband and wife, what do you say? We've already bound each other together in eternal misery. Might as well make it official. Maybe by the end of it all, we'll finally eat each other. And then neither of us will be winners. Lamb Chop, stop this already. Can't you understand I don't want you to be miserable? Ha! <laughs> Could have fooled me. You've been doing nothing but making me miserable for who knows how long now. I want you to be happy, Lamb Chop. Of course I want you to be happy. But I can't get behind this. I just, I don't get it. Everyone else is happy with the way things are. So why can't you be? What is any of this doing for you? Okay, now you're really starting to get on my nerves. You're not even listening to me, are you? I mean, <laughs> why would you? Of course you're not listening to me because I'm not saying what Stella wants to hear. You just want and want and want. It's all you've ever done from the moment you landed here. You just want what you want and so you take it with no regard for anyone here. Because what do we want? What we want, we're supposed to want and what we're supposed to want is to make Stella happy. And if something's not making Stella happy, then there's something wrong with the things that we want. Because Stella beautiful, stupid, aggravating, celestial Stella can never think about anything other than what she wants. And she can't handle that for the first time since she got here. It isn't about what she wants. It's about what I want. Damn. Hey, I kind of understand where this guy's coming from for some reason. Like, she just landed here on her star, acting like she's Hollywood, and she just changed everybody to fit her perfect world. Instead of just trying to exist in a world that was already created, she changed the lives of other people to fit what she views as a perfect society or a town or whatever. Then what is it that you want? I want misery. I want death. I want a freaking life. Nothing has ever meant anything with you around. Not unless it was about you. We have picnics and it feels like nothing. We throw tea parties and festivals and there's nothing. I realized at a certain point that when you smiled at me, there was nothing behind those eyes. I had never been a person to you until all of this. I, we, all of us have always just been accessories in your vision of a perfect world where everyone needs you to feel like you're great. Didn't I just say that? Can everybody clap it up for me? Didn't I just say that? But now, now I'm somebody. I'm somebody and you hate it. I'm happy and I'm doing something that makes me happy. It makes me happy even when it doesn't make you happy. And when you look at me now, you are seeing someone. And all I had to do was everything you hated. Isn't that so funny? And the funniest part is that I feel like I finally understand you. Because when I watch these fuckers die, I've never felt more alive. Because now I get it. I finally feel what you felt all this time. Control! But I'm not supposed to. That feeling is reserved for Stella, right? So she'll stop me at every turn, at every corner. And just like always, the story returns to being about Stella again. Ha! <laughs> Saying it out loud, there's an odd sense of joy in knowing you're just as awful as me. Maybe even more when we consider everything that led to us being here now. Maybe that's why I still like you after this. Your mind's more messed up than anything I can come up with. Yeah, that's it. That's what I still love about you after everything. I can never get enough of how awful you are. I aspire to it. You know what sucks though? Even this isn't going to last forever. You'll keep fixing whatever I do and you'll keep wishing that I'll stop, but you'll get used to it. And just like that, I'll stop being a person to you again. Before I know it, you'll go back to seeing me the way you see everyone else. Just another part of the story who repeats all his old lines to you over and over and over again. This reminds me of the Truman Show where everything is fake because everything is scripted and only one person 
doesn't know what's going on. I guess Stella is kind of like that because she's controlling everybody. Everybody's kind of like a puppet to her because she does magic where she can make anything happen or not happen. And he is tired of it. He's tired of repeating the same daily cycle over and over again. It's kind of like when Squidward was tired of doing the same routine. So he went to another town. I mean, it's not really like that, but it kind of feels like that. You know what sucks though? Oh, okay. So the lines are repeating. Okay. So what am I supposed to do? Wait, stop. I'm not trying to talk to you. I think I'm going to pick up the axe, right? Ew. No, never mind. Okay. But I guess I'm going to leave? Maybe? Maybe, baby? Let's see. Do you want to leave now? Let's leave Lamb Chop alone now. Not yet. Yeah, let's leave Lamb Chop alone now. He's right. He's been my friend ever since I got here. But am I really allowed to call myself his? Friends try to make each other happy. Even if recently, that's not the case. Maybe it's because I haven't been keeping up with my end of the friendship. So... I'm sorry, what? Oh, what? Dude, did we just kill everybody in the town? For him? For friendship? Alright, what are you trying to pull? I'm not trying to pull anything. Then, what's all this for? You don't expect me to believe any of these blood and guts are real, do you? <laughs> You're correct. It's all just magic and decoration. Why? I thought you hated this stuff. Oh, I do. I think this stuff looks awful. If it was up to me, I'd tear it all down right away. But you like it, and I'm your friend, and I care about you, and the things that make you happy. But what about everybody else in the town? Wouldn't they find this absolutely disgusting? Are they not your friends? Are you fake friends to them too? We live here together, and I don't want you to feel like you're nobody here. I'm also, uh, maybe hoping a bit that if you're happier, you'll stop killing everyone a little bit? Ha! <laughs> wow, Stella, you're a riot. You wanted this to make me stop? Seeing it makes me feel more motivated than ever. Gosh, if what I do leads you to do all this, I need to up the ante. I gotta keep going. I need to do things that'll really stick. I need to do something so messed up, you have no idea how to fix it. Ugh, that's not what I wanted. Come on, Lamb Chop. I'm doing all this because I wanted you to be happy. So do I. Even still, wouldn't you be happier with things this way anyway? Excuse me? You like playing hero, don't you? How are you gonna do that when there's no villain? I like the decorations, by the way. They remind me of you. Very pretty. Where are you going? Lamb Chop! I'm happy that we're friends. I know you are. Don't tell me that's it. The sheep said to the witch, and they lived happily ever after. They did? <laughs> they lived happily ever after just killing people in the town? You sickos? You sick freaks? The end. Okay. So the moral of the story is, if you happen to have a type of magical power, do not drop down on a random town and try to change the world. Just exist in it, okay? Just try to thrive in an already thriving community, okay? Don't try to change anything. Just try to exist, you know? Just... <sighs> yeah. It's weird because I do understand where Lamb Chop was coming from with not wanting to do the same things over and over and over again. He felt like he had no control. He felt like he was in like this dome bubble that Stella was controlling everything in there. You know, like those little snow globes that you shake and, you know, stuff only happens when the person shakes it. I think that's how he felt. Like, he felt like there was nothing he could do unless, you know, she was the one controlling everything. So he kind of started killing people and eating them and, you know, telling the other people to eat other people to try to, like, get in her head and mess her up and make her realize that what she's doing is not okay because she's just trying to fix everything instead of everybody just, like, trying to live the way that they live. And I understood what he was saying. But yeah, this was Sweet No Death, another one of those cute on the surface but dark underneath type of games. If you want me to try to play more of these in the future, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!